What's going on guys and welcome to today's video and today we are with the mini here back at BG Products test facility here in Wichita, Kansas and we're hopefully going to be putting the mini on the dyno. Now I know we're going to put it on the dyno but uh, the concern is will it read anything because uh, they're not sure that their equipment is going to correctly read an electric vehicle since there's no RPM signal. Um, so we may put this on and get absolutely nothing, but I'm hoping we're going to at least read maybe max horsepower or torque or one or the other. I don't know what we're going to get, but uh, we're going to put it on there. We're going to see. I, I'm hopeful we'll at least get one or the other. Now on paper, the Mini Cooper SE is supposed to do 181 horsepower and 199 foot pounds of torque. Now, again, that's at the motor or is that at the wheels? I don't really know on a electric vehicle because on a gasoline vehicle, you're always measured at the crankshaft and then it's always less at the wheels. So will that be the same for an electric Mini? I have no idea. Will we even get any numbers back? Again, I have no idea, but we're gonna bolt it on and see. Now I do have my race or autocross wheels and tires on this thing. It is the 17 by seven inch track light wheels with my Falcon Azenus tires that are a 215-40R17. So we're gonna have it in the most race trim as possible because it's, it's my autocross race car this season. So we've gotta have it thinking it's ready to go fast. Now, of course, we'll put it in sport mode. Uh, I don't think there's a big difference in total power, but I think the power delivery is a little bit different. So we'll, we'll sport mode it. We've got our autocross wheels and tires on the thing. We're, we're gonna go as hard as we can and hope we read something. Otherwise, this is gonna be a complete bust and you may not see this video. Um, now there's one last thing that I think we need to do to this car to make sure it makes as much power as possible. What race car is not complete without, uh, yeah, numbers? Well, well, it'll make more power with numbers on the side because it's a race car. That, that, that's that gotta at least add a few electric torques to this thing, so. And now if I didn't already mention or not, but I think this is the first Mini Cooper SE that I can find anywhere online that will be on a dyno. So. I really, really hope we get some numbers out of this thing because th this is the only one that's been on a dyno that I can find. Maybe you guys can find a video or an article, but I searched and found absolutely nothing. So this should be the first mini on some rollers, making some power, and uh, hopefully we get a reading. Guys, let's get it on the dyno. Let's uh, strap it down and see if I don't break my wife's new Mini Cooper. Well guys, we're obviously back in street car mode now that we don't have numbers on the side and we were able to get one number and that was torque because torque is what is read off of the rollers and horsepower is then, you know, calculated from engine RPM versus the torque and that equals your horsepower. So I was able to get torque and hey, I'm happy with anything just being able to get this thing up on the dyno because in theory, this is the first one that has ever been dynoed or at least that I can find. Again, throw down in the comments if you have a video or have seen a video of another SE dynoed or, or whatever because I could not find one. But enough talking, what did we do for our torque? We ended up with 202 foot pounds of torque. This thing is rated at 199 foot pounds of torque. So normally in a gasoline engine, the horsepower and torque is calculated at the crank and then you lose a little bit with the drivetrain. This electric vehicle that is rated at 199 foot pounds of torque put down 202 foot pounds of torque on the dyno today. So maybe in an electric vehicle, it's not obviously calculated at the motor, but at the wheels. 
I have no idea, but we've got the paperwork here showing what it did. Now, BG has never dynoed a all electric vehicle before. I was talking with the guy running the dyno and uh, you know, we were kind of both talking and we decided kind of a 30 mile an hour roll and then put your foot in it. So that's what he did. Uh, I think he made about four pulls and they were all obviously identical. Now the Mini does not give you 100% of its torque or horsepower right off the bat. So you can see, obviously I'll throw a picture in so you guys can see, but the graph kind of tapers up pretty quickly. It peaks and then starts falling off on the backside because as that engine hits peak, it then starts falling down on its horsepower and torque. So that's what we've got here. And I don't know, I'm just excited to claim that I'm the first one out there with a mini SE on the dyno and, and be able to at least hold a piece of paper up showing we, we made some numbers. Now, how did the mini SE like being on the dyno? It did not love being on the dyno. Uh, as, now, as you can see in the video, we had the rear wheels stationary and the front tires up on the rollers. And that's typically how you would put a front wheel drive vehicle. Now their dyno is an all wheel drive dyno. In theory, if the dyno would have gotten small enough, we could have had the rear wheels up on the dyno and then we would have had all four rolling. But since we just had the front wheels on the dyno, um, we put it in sport mode. We turned all the uh, dynamic stability control off, put it in drive, and we had no throttle. It was rolling at about 10 miles an hour, no matter how much throttle pedal he applied. Um, we had some warning messages. We had service uh, brake system, service, you know, forward collision warning. Every single system was not happy about the rear wheels sitting stationary with the front spinning and no vehicle movement. Um, after a few more pedal kind of applications, it finally then started going about 13 miles an hour. And we kind of looked at each other and went, oh, that's, that's interesting. And then finally, all of a sudden it kind of jumped. We had a service ABS light on, and then we had full power. I think the system finally just kind of threw its hands up and said, I have no clue what's going on, but here, drive and accelerate. So once that final warning message came on, we were able to have full power, just like you would normally driving on the road. We, we made our four pulls. And then I backed the car off the dyno and I was just gonna make a lap around the parking lot and assume once the rear wheel started spinning again, everything would kind of make itself happy and it would move down the road. No, it was so angry. Uh, the vehicle had power, but it had no power steering. Every single warning message was on the dash. Every light was on the instrument cluster. It was not a happy car. Now, luckily, BG Products has a really nice brand new scan tool. We were able to plug in, clear all the active codes, cycle the key, and the car was absolutely fine. It was just really, really angry that we had the front wheels turning, the rear wheels stationary, and then the forward camera and all of that is looking forward while the car's not moving, but it sees wheel speed. It, it just was not happy about it, but again, once we cleared the codes, everything was happy. I drove it home like nothing ever happened. So I don't know. It was very interesting. It was kind of cool seeing the car, you know, accelerate the electronic whine as it's pulling up to speed. And uh, we can at least confirm the Mini makes 202 foot pounds of torque, basically what it's rated at, but at the wheels. So it is making all of that at the wheels, not just theoretically at the engine and then you lose some like you typically would in a gasoline car. So I don't know, pretty cool. I was very happy with it. And uh, again, if you guys know of another video or an article or something where a mini SE has been dynoed, definitely post it down in the comments. I would love to kind of compare numbers and see what this did versus some other dyno out there. So I don't know guys, we'll keep playing with the mini SE. We've got a full autocross season with it. I still wanna do all of my appearance stuff. I wanna get rid of the Chrome, but uh, that'll have to be for another day. So guys, thanks for uh, coming out to the dyno with me again. And hopefully next we'll have the TRX up on the dyno making a lot of noise and hopefully a lot of horsepower. So guys, as always, thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys next time.